Come on, Nibby. We should probably go follow him. The world composer hath demonstrated his interest in the Dark Goddess. Could he have course corrected? Doth he dare fulfill the eternal promise in the end? Hey now, look at that. The Tokyo Manga Center? What about it? I figure as long as I'm in Akihabara, I should swing by and check the place out. What? Really? You? You're into manga and stuff? Not personally, but I got a birthday gift to pick out. Whose? Is that any of your business? Now come on, you know this stuff. Show me the ropes. Yo, Tachibana. You have any idea what this is all about? Don't ask me, man. I have no clue. So, how come you didn't buy anything? Couldn't find the right thing. Well, you want to go look somewhere else? I'm sure Yamato wouldn't mind. <laughs> Whatever. How about Animart? If anybody would have something good and geeky, they would. Here we are. What is it specifically that you're looking for? I don't know. Huh? Can't quite remember what it was he said he liked. You're gonna come out of here empty-handed again, aren't you? I don't know. I'm sure if I buy him something from a popular series, he'll like it well enough. You might want to put a little more effort into it than that. What kind of person is it that you're buying for? That might actually be enough to go on. Well, let's see. He's pretty much the same age as this one. Maybe even a little younger. This one? As in... What? Me? So you're secretly buying a gift for Yamato, then? <laughs> I don't need any presents. No, not you, you numbskull. My brother, he's around your age. What? Your brother? You've got a brother? Yeah, I do. Preachy? First you buy nothing, then you buy everything. Make up your damn mind. Figure there's gotta be at least one thing he'll like in all this stuff. Anyway, while we're out, we should hit up another spot. Feels like we're on a roll. Okay, how about Radio Lakaikon? It's by the station's Electric Town exit. It's a collectible shop. Perhaps we can buy some trading cards here. It's a save point. 
Perhaps we should make use of it. You shouldn't have any trouble finding anything here. Doesn't matter. It's not like I'm looking for anything specific anyway. I think this should be enough. Enough? You cleaned them out! Figures, manga, models... I think you might have a problem. <laughs> gonna be a pain in the ass to carry all this. It's fine. I'm shipping it. Wait, you're not gonna give your brother his birthday present in person? Nope. I haven't seen him in a long time. So you guys aren't from Tokyo then, huh? Wait a sec. Go even further back though, and just finding a place to eat was a pain in the ass. How far back are we talking? When I was a kid. You've been coming to Akiba since you were a kid? Yeah, from time to time. Didn't you say you've been coming to Akiba since you were a kid? Yeah, what of it? Um, well. Come on, it's time to get moving. Take me somewhere I can go to have these things shipped. All right, let's go to the post office at UBX. It's a very general store with many very general goods on offer. Okay, let's get all this stuff in the mail so I don't have to think about it anymore. Is there any point in mailing it now? Like with the time loop and all. As long as it also arrives today, it'll be fine. Where are you sending it to? Someplace close. Close enough that you could get there on a motorbike if you had to. Why ship it then? I don't understand. Figures. Postal system is shot to hell these days. How could they no longer be offering same-day delivery? I guess I'll just take it all home for now. And after going to all the trouble of packing it up, too. Give me a hand, you guys. What, are you kidding me? Here. Ugh, holy crap, this is heavy! A young guy like you will manage. Yeah, Yamato. It's good exercise. Come on, that's not... Hey, what's this? What's what? You're sending this to your brother, right? I think you might have mislabeled it. No, it's correct. But it says it's going to Reita Hashiguchi. Hashiguchi? Not Shinomiya? Why would your brother have a different last name? My parents were divorced. Simple as that. Oh, uh, sorry. I don't think it's all that uncommon a story these days. Is that why you don't really see your brother? Yeah, since my folks split up, I haven't seen him even once. Can't even remember how many years it's been. But don't you want to see him? You two are brothers, after all. Part of being an adult is knowing when to push the envelope and when to sit tight. I could visit him if I wanted. But we keep in touch through text messages and emails, so we're fine. So you're at least on good terms with him, then? Mm, yeah, I guess so. It seems like he's finally hit that rebellious phase of his life, though. It turned him into a snot. Ah, and that's why you compared him to Yamato. Makes sense. Hey! Yeah. Kid can't seem to let go of his manga, anime, and games, no matter what. Very Yamato-esque. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Maybe the two of them are estranged brothers or something, and Yamato is actually related to you. No way. Any brother of mine would be way more of a looker. It's always good to save regularly, but mindfully. <laughs> <laughs> 